Well, I came in and uh, to meet with Mr. President to also brief him on the various developments in Imo State, uh, as it has to do with security, as it has to do with uh, governance. And I had a very quality audience with Mr. President. And I used the opportunity also to make some requests that will assist us in ensuring that the security situation in Imo State is stable and that uh, the fight against bandit, banditry is also sustained so that people can go about their businesses without fear of any molestation. In the same manner, I also use the opportunity to request Mr. President to consider locating a power generating facility in Wari River where we have been able to empty all the flood control system by balloon technology and the tide has gone up and because of the sufficient water in the river now we can use that river to generate electricity to serve the entire Oura metropolis. And Mr. President also saw that as a good idea and pledged to support it and has given anticipatory approval to, for us to commence with the conceptual designs. We've uh, made tremendous progress. We've been able to confront the bandits. And uh, the situation in Imo now is uh, uh, relatively calm. The Imo state government has also procured some equipments for Nigerian police and the Department of Security Services to be used by Imo command to be able to sustain our efforts in confronting the, 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 the monster. Only last week, we've placed additional order for the procurement of uh, armored personnel carriers to be used by Nigerian police in the 10 federal constituencies of Imo State. And also, we are supporting them with some other equipment particularly in the area of technology, to make their work easy for them. Well, uh, like you know, the work on Uguta uh, port has commenced. We finished the initial hydrological studies. We've done the hydrographic studies. We've completed with the conceptual design. And then the seaport, the detailed engineering is being done. In addition to that, only last year, Mr. President approved the location of a naval base in Uguta to enhance the security situation in that place. So it is my hope, working in partnership with the private sector, that the Uguta port, seaport, will soon be a reality. And if that happens, it will not only improve the economic base of the state, 
Neighboring states like Anambra, Newe, Aba markets will use that for delivery of their goods. We have seven oil producing companies in Imo State. Most of them, part of the challenges they have today is uh, evacuation of their produce and then also importation of the materials they use for exploration and production. So when Oguta port comes to stream, it will go a long way in alleviating the challenges that the oil companies face in Nemo State. Now, the case of the oil wells that was wrongly ceded to River State has been challenged. And because the matter is in court, I think the subject is, and it will not be good for me to begin to discuss the matter here until the Supreme Court takes a position on that. Well, don't forget, APC is not a mushroom party. APC is a giant. It's the largest party today in Africa. And that is the party that other small, small parties should copy. Because all small parties come to do zoning, do that and that. Their internal mechanism must not be the same thing with that of APC. APC is already the party on ground that owns the federal government of Nigeria and other state governments, up to 21 state governments. So the, the discretion on how and when to do their convention should be an internal party affair. And the APC is the one wearing the shoe. With a credible leadership, they knows when to move and when not to move. So I think you should just watch, because under the constitution of APC, buying form is one thing. We have three modes that we can adopt to elect our officers, either by direct primaries, by indirect primaries, or by consensus. What of if APC has adopted consensus and is not yet to the public knowledge? We don't need again to begin to say forms and do that zoning or that zoning. We are democratic enough to know when to shoot and when not to shoot. I think it's just bring your people who have not joined the APC to join the party. <laughs> no, of course, that is the decision of the party. And there is nothing wrong, even if it doesn't hold. What is important is that we must have our convention. We have said it's 26th. If for anything, for any reason, tomorrow is not doable in the opinion of the party, we will move. But I'm not, that does not mean that there is any intention to move. It is a So you understand, so that is the thing, and um, we shouldn't worry about little, little issues. I think our focus and attention should be towards having a workable democracy in Nigeria, like we have shown, supporting government policies and programs, and then being patriotic, because our democracy will do better if supported with the right attitude. You may not like my face, but the federal government is federal government. State government is state government. We should be able to exhibit sense of nationalism and patriotism. 
We should be able to support government that is in power. Today, the president, even though produced by APC, is president of all the political parties in Nigeria and the government of all the political parties in Nigeria. This mentality of war, 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 war. Politics and democracy is not about war. It's about ideology and the ability to sell their policy and the people who buy into it. So I, I'm confident that our party, contrary to the expectations in some quarters, will be stronger and stronger as we make progress. And of course, in the nearest future, I'm very confident that the APC will still be in power because the programs of the party, the manifesto of the party, the individuals in the party, majority of the political class in Nigeria understands that APC is the party to beat. And that is why they are joining day by day.